when you say this dhikr after salat al dhuhr in your conscience and in your mind, you should be thinking, how am I going to perfect Salat al-Asr? And pray Salat al-Asr better than I did for Salat al tar This is what husni ibadatik means. The ibadah that's required from you and I is not just quantity. You know, and how much can we do? And how much can you pray? And how much can you fast? And Allahu Akbar, how much can you do? It's not about that. It's about husni ibadatik. How much can you perfect one Salat? How much can you perfect one fasting? How much can you perfect the worship and remain consistent and continuous upon it? Well, that's the struggle. That's the challenge. That's where the achievement is. وَحُسْنِ عِبَادَتِكْ For he says this to Mu'adh ibn Jabal radiallahu anhu, say it after every salat. وَالْعُلَمَاءَ رَحِمَهُمُ اللَّهِ They differed. Two different, different uh, يعني, two opinions. When is this dhikr supposed to be said? Some said it's said after At-Tahiyat, before you make At-Taslim. Yani once you finish At-Tahiyat, all of it, just before you make At-Taslim, you say, Allahumma a'inni ala dhikrika wa shukrika wa husni ibadatik. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. And you conclude your salat. That's one opinion. And another opinion said that you say it immediately after As-Salat. They included it from Adhkar As-Salat. So when you say, Astaghfirullah, 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 اللهم عني على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك. Both opinions are acceptable. And if you are to do both, then you are not wrong. That you do one at the end of a salat, because that time is a dua that is guaranteed, that is accepted. Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said the dua that is before at taslim is an accepted dua. And then after the salat, you say it once again. Doesn't harm. فَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ You're supposed to seek Allah's help that you continue in his worship. This keeps a person humble. It keeps us humble. It keeps us to, to our own level of conscience that we're not able to worship Allah Azza wa Jal unless he gives us the strength and the ability to do so.